located in northern Arizona near Flagstaff, is Wapaki National Monument. This is a well-forgotten site since the nearness of the Grand Canyon takes all its glory. However, there's some amazing structures that you just have to see. Today, we're going to share with you an amazing site that is often overshadowed even by some of the other sites in Wapaki itself. Today, we're going to the Wukuki Trail in Pueblo. This site is located on the eastern side of the monument and requires you to traverse a dirt road. But don't worry, this dirt road is well maintained and you don't need four wheel drive to get here. A two wheel drive car can make it just fine. After a short drive, you'll finally reach the parking area to start your journey. As you can see, there's ample parking and you'll most likely have it to yourself since this site is less visited than most. This trail is located at the very edge of the parking lot and it's very difficult to miss, you'll be able to see it quickly. This short little area leads up to the ruins that you're going to see. The trail itself is dirt with a few sections of sandstone. The entire length of the trail is lined with rocks, so there will be no mistake on where you need to walk. Keep in mind that the park surface doesn't want anyone wandering off the trail in this park. And be real, that goes for most national parks and monuments, however this one has a specific reason. Many of these sites that are located in this national monument have only been partially studied by archaeologists, and they still have a lot to learn from them so they do not want you disturbing the ground. It's really nice that the general public is still allowed to view these areas even though the research hasn't been completed and they have no plans to do so at this time. Now a note for anyone with your pets that are going along with you on this trip. Your pets will not be allowed on any of the dirt surface trails within Wapaki National Monument. Animals are restricted to the pavement surfaces only in the parking lots. So for anyone with a pet out there, it's best you leave them home on this adventure. As you can see here, Wukuki is getting into really great view from this trail. And to be honest with you, this is my favorite site within Wapaki National Monument. Wukuki is standing tall against the panoramic backdrop of the high desert, almost as a silent witness to centuries of human history. But what kind of history was that? Let's get into it. From around 400 AD to 1700 AD, the Southwest was a hotbed of cultural activity this was characterized by farming, pottery, and village networks across the region. Imagine the challenges faced by the ancient farmers as they toiled under the scorching desert sun, relying on meager water sources to sustain their crops. Yet somehow, against all odds, they thrived, leaving a legacy that continues to captivate us today. Named Wukuki, which translates to big house, this three-story structure isn't just a random collection of stones. It's a testament to ingenuity and perseverance of the ancestral Puebloans who called this place home. Sometimes I wish you could truly rewind the clock to witness how these people lived in front of your eyes, but we will only know what we have found in the dirt remains. A partial excavation of this site was done by an archaeologist in 18. 96, and it revealed not only superb architecture, but also that there were skilled artisans who lived here. The archaeologist recovered beautifully designed pottery, a bracelet of shells, and ear pendants of stone with turquoise mosaic inlay. These artifacts have provided clues to who lived here and when. As you can see, the grandeur of this building is still present today. It is believed that there probably were two or three families that shared this area. The open area adjacent to the plaza and tower was used for daily activities such as pottery making, basket weaving, and other chores. It is unknown to why they chose to build the way that they did, but the height and location of this area are truly extraordinary. Although it is no longer physically occupied, the Hopi believe the people who lived and died here remain as spiritual guardians. Wukoki is remembered and cared for, but not abandoned. As always, when you visit these spiritual places, leave no trace and be respectful.